Hey guys, my name is Dean. Welcome to the Yoga Vitality program from Body by Yoga. In this video, I share the first part of the level three routine, which is our intermediate workout from our Yoga for Seniors or our Chair Yoga program. Be sure to check out the demonstrators in the background to choose the ideal level of difficulty for you and enjoy the routine. For more info on the full program, stick around at the end or check the link in the description. Enjoy. Hey guys, my name is Dean. Welcome to Yoga Vitality. This is routine number three. And our focus with this routine is strength and mobility. In today's workout, I'm going to be using a chair as a modification. So I'm gonna move the chair around through a lot of this routine. Keep in mind, you don't have to move the chair. I'm moving it just so you can see it better on camera. We'll also be using a knee pad, but if you don't have a knee pad, you can easily put a folded towel on the floor and that will help as well. Remember to listen to my technique, do your best, don't do anything that hurts you, and uh, let's get started. We're gonna start at the top of your mat with some half sun salutations. I'm gonna go slowly through these at first, so if you already know them, bear with me, and if you don't know them yet, you're going to learn right now. Toes touch, heels an inch apart, standing up nice and tall in mountain pose. Hips above the heels, shoulders down and back, and you can start with hands at center. Chin pulls in toward your throat, and make sure that you're pushing down evenly through both feet. From here, take a deep breath in, lift your arms overhead. Look up, press your palms together, continue to breathe. And then from here, we take it to a forward fold. So as you exhale, bend your knees, reach forward, use the chair as support, and tuck your chin toward your throat. Make sure that you're not rounding your back here. So I'd like your back to be as flat as possible. You should be feeling more of a stretch in your hamstrings. Again, you shouldn't have a C shape with your back. From here, we take it to a half lift. As you inhale, pull your chest forward, Look forward, lengthen the front of your body. As you do this, you'll feel a deepening stretch through your calves and through your hamstrings, through the backs of your legs. Next, exhale, another forward fold. So soften the knees, bring your chest toward your thighs, tuck your chin toward your throat, and look behind you. Remember to keep your weight forward here, so don't let your weight go all the way back toward the heels. I want you keeping your weight forward. And if you have any blood pressure issues, make sure that you don't bring your head below your hips. From here, bend the knees, pull your chest forward, look up, press down through your feet, lift the arms up high, coming back up to volcano pose, that second pose we did in the sequence. And then bring your hands back to center, back into mountain. All right, check in with your body here. Make sure you're pushing down through your feet. You're feeling your hips, your abs, your shoulders are active. All right, let's do a couple more of those a little bit faster now. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, hinge at the hips. Bring your hands to the block or the chair. Inhale, half lift. Pull your chest forward, lengthen the front of your body. Exhale and forward fold. Bend the knees. Feel the stretch of the back. Bend the knees, drop your hips down. Pull the chest forward. Inhale up. And exhale, hands come back to center. Keep in mind, the breath and the movement might not merge the first time you do this. It does take practice. All right, one more time on your own pace. Inhaling up to volcano. Going down to a forward fold. Inhaling to half lift. Exhaling, second forward fold. Back up to volcano, bend the knees, drop the hips, lift up. And then exhale, hands back to center. Back into mountain pose. All right, great job. We're gonna move to a plank got lots of modifications here. You can do a plank with your hands on the chair. You can use a pad for your knees, or you can do a plank on the ground with blocks or hands flat on the ground. 
Once you have your plank, start alternating, lifting the left and then the right leg. So left leg goes up, and then right leg goes up. So moving back and forth in this. And if this is challenging enough for you, this is what you're going to do. If you want to add a little bit more to this, lift the opposite hand into a row as the other leg goes up. And we'll start that right now. So left leg is up, right leg, right arm squeezes in, right leg up, left arm squeezes in. Make sure to exhale as you row. And this is challenging, but it's a really good way for you to strengthen your core and strengthen your back and your shoulders at the same time. One more to each side. All right, back into plank. And then from here, take it into an up dog. So grip the chair however is comfortable. Pull your chest forward and up. Arch your back slightly. Aim your chest forward. Pull your chin in toward your throat. Belly button pulls into your lower back so your abs are tight to protect your spine. No pain in your back here. If you want to, you can take your knees down onto that knee pad for a little bit more support. Five more seconds in this up dog. This is meant to be challenging. And then into a down dog. So go ahead and bring your butt up and back. Try to make an L shape with your body. Bend your knees, continue to hold onto your chair. Push your chest toward the floor and work on lengthening your hamstrings. You can use the chair for this. If you'd like, you can go full down dog on the ground with blocks or even without blocks, up to you. Your goal in down dog should be to flatten your back. So bend your knees as much as you need to to make that happen and work on tightening your abdominal area. That will help you flatten your back and feel this exercise the way it's supposed to be felt. Shoulders are active, pressing down into the chair or into the floor and squeezing your arms toward one another. Remember to keep your head above your hips if you have low blood pressure. All right, and then go ahead and bend the knees and walk out of this back up to standing. Nice job, that was the Sun Salutation series. We're gonna move on to some standing balance exercises at the back of your chair. Keep in mind, you don't need to move your chair, I'm just moving it so you can see me better. We're gonna start with some standing hip abductions. Stand on your right foot and holding onto the chair for support, squeeze your left leg to the outside as much as you can, keeping the toes facing straight forward. As you exhale, squeeze out. As you inhale, come back to the middle. Remember, you can use that chair as much as you'd like. And depending on your fitness levels and your mobility level, your foot is going to go further up or not as far. One more. And then switch. Right leg now. Inhale to get ready. Exhale to squeeze it out. Remember, using that chair as much as you need for support, maybe the hand comes to the hip, maybe the hand comes, both hands come off the chair altogether. It's totally up to you. Do whatever you feel is appropriate for your body today. Just nice, slow, controlled movements. Last one. All right, nicely done. So that was all for outer hip. Really important for your knees and your back. Now we're gonna go into donkey kicks. So start with your right foot planted. Use the back of the chair, bend slightly forward. Bring your left heel in toward your butt. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, press your heel up and over toward the right. Inhale to bring it back. 
Exhale, push up and over. <sighs> Try to avoid arching your back here. So keep your back slightly rounded here. That's going to help you isolate your glutes, which is what we want to do here. And if you don't feel your butt muscles working yet, a lot of people just don't have that awareness in their hips. So if you keep practicing, you'll get it. It just might not happen today. A couple more of these. To make it more challenging, you can go deeper into this. You can press your foot up higher. You can also bend down a little bit lower. All right, go ahead and release. Nice job, let's stand back up, get reset. Nice job. And now switching sides, plant the left foot, bend the knee slightly. Bring your right heel in towards your butt. Deep breath in. Exhale, press your heel up and then over, squeezing your butt muscles as you do it. A few of these, inhaling down. Exhale, push up and then over. So this is a strength exercise. Yes, you might feel some stretching through the front of your right hip, but really focus on your butt and your hamstrings here. Two more. Exhaling to push up and back, last one. And release your right foot down. All right, I hope you enjoyed that clip from Yoga Vitality. For the full program, you can purchase it on DVD on Amazon in the US, the UK, and in Canada. Every DVD purchase comes with free streaming access through the Body by Yoga website. And it's actually less expensive to purchase the DVD and then get the free streaming access. So we encourage you to purchase the DVD on Amazon and leave a review if you really like it. Thanks for watching these videos. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more content uploaded on a weekly basis. And I hope to see you on the Yoga Vitality program soon. Bye.